Welcome to Daily Faith. I'm Philip Cameron. My daughter Melody is here with us. We've got a great program to share with you today and um, some incredible news and just hope for the future. My job, my calling in God is to inspire you to believe God for household salvation. And that's what this program is all about. Welcome to Daily Faith. Every heartbeat of God is towards you. Do you know that God loves you so much? I often think of this. A lot of folk think that God's divorced from them and he's a God that sits high in the heavens and he has no contact with us. Let me tell you something. I believe with all my heart that God loves us so much that he admires us. I, I meet people when I travel in churches all the time and they'll come up to me and they'll tell, tell me their story of, of incredible sorrow and how they just keep on going. And, and I, I, sometimes I, I don't have words to tell them to comfort them. And they talk about, you know, the husband or the kids, something sick, someone's sick. And, and, and the times they'll walk away from me and my heart breaks for their sorrow and their circumstance. And I tell them the same thing every time, that God is so proud of you that God admires your faith that gets you up in the morning and gets you in that shower and gets you dressed and out that door and you face life day after day. And I want to tell you something, that his heart is bent toward you. Melody, my daughter, and my son, Philip, have got six grandkids all together. And I am in love with every single one of them. I watch them. They're in my house every day. My house is like a, a zoo sometimes with kids or at least a daycare center. And, and my kids, these grandkids kind of rule the house. They're everywhere. And I watch them in their own little busy world. And they've no idea that their granddad is sitting watching them. And my heart is bursting with love towards them. And they're busy playing with a car or doing something, drawing on a piece of paper, and they're caught up in the, in the busyness of their wee world with no idea that a granddad is sitting watching them with a heart that's bursting with love. And I want to tell you something. You might be living in a busy world. All the cares of life, all the stuff that makes things hard and sometimes almost impossible. I want to tell you something. There is a God who loves you with a love that will not let you go. He cares for you so much that his heart is totally toward you. And he sent me to tell you today, you need to relax. Trust him more. Allow him to work in your life. Your family is not beyond God's grip and grace. Your kids are not too far away from his salvation. The darker your circumstance is, sometimes the closer you are to the breakthrough you've been praying for. And I challenge you in the name of Jesus to believe God today for household salvation. God gave me a revelation many years ago of the realization and the, and the possibility of total household salvation. I had a dream, a, a vision of, of mankind on a conveyor belt moving through time. And I saw the place where time and eternity met. It was the most terrifying thing I've ever seen. Once in a while, someone would ascend, but the vast majority of these people living on this conveyor belt, t talking, laughing, just, just doing life, never realizing that this end was coming. And then they fell off the edge of time. And I, I was screaming in this vision. Oh, I didn't realize I was screaming out loud as well. Stop, please stop. And God began to speak to me. They'll never laugh again. They'll never rest again. They'll never know peace again. And he said, this is not my will. My will is for none to perish. 
And I began to see the promise through our family of household salvation. And I want you to know today that whatever your circumstance is regarding your family, that it's not too far away from God. It's not gone too far. It's not, it's not past his, his limit. And I would encourage you that we are a ministry, and I have an anointing to pray for your families to get saved. If you have someone in your home that you're believing God for to be saved, I want you to contact me today. Our website is philipdcameron.com, and you can contact me there right now. You can go to your computer to the website, philipdcameron.com, and, and get in contact with me, or you can write P.O. Box 242246 in Montgomery, Alabama. The address will be up later on the screen, so you get a chance to, to take it down later on. But I want you to know that the promise of God is for you and yours to be saved. I want you to watch this about a book that I've written that I believe will change your life and the possibility of total household salvation. Watch this. Full House. It's time for household salvation. We'll help you see your unsaved loved ones in a totally different light. God has given Philip insight into God's promise of household salvation. Do you know that you have a covenant throughout Scripture that promises that your family are part of your eternal inheritance? Philip's family was bound in alcoholism for over 200 years. And through the miraculous story as told in Full House, Jesus saved the Camerons. And in the span of six weeks, 67 of the Cameron family were saved. This book will change your life. Order Full House today and believe with Philip to see what God will do in your family. To order, please visit www.philipdcameron.com or call 1-833-DAILY-FAITH or contact us by mail. Post Office Box 242246, Montgomery, Alabama, 36124. This book is your connection to household salvation. It tells the story of how God broke the, the back of Satan over our family. Every man for over 200 100 years were alcoholics. And Jesus invaded the territory of the Camerons and set us free. And if God can save the Camerons, I'm telling you, your family is next. And this is our testimony. It's the story of how we got saved. And there's also teaching on how you can get your family saved. And you can get that by helping us, your gift to this ministry. We'll get this in the mail to you. And by doing so, you're helping us. And um, I believe that God's going to watch, you're going to watch God move in a supernatural way in your family. So a full house, there you go. We have been talking to you the last few days, last few weeks rather, on household salvation. And also on Vatra Village. We have a mission work in a country called Moldova. To let you explain where Moldova is, it's sandwiched between Romania and the Ukraine. You've been watching recently in the Ukraine when the Russians are fighting against the, the, UK, the Ukrainians. We have missionary work going on right actually in where this war zone is. And our kids from our home in the Ukraine, we've got a home there also, they're taking food and blankets and uh, we found a school the other day with 50 people in it. And um, actually, it's not a school. It's a, it, was a, it was an abandoned orphanage, actually. And, and a child was killed by the workers in the orphanage. And they closed the orphanage down. And 50 people in different families have, have broke into this place. And they're living there right now in the most horrendous circumstances. There's one man that's dying of cancer. And um, he has a chair with a piece of stick, a broom, and that's what he's using to, 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 to put his cancer medicine in. And he's run out of cancer medicine, um, the chemotherapy medicine, and, and, and he's dying. And we are, we are getting the money towards his cancer medicine right now. All people that have just, their, their whole life has been wasted and lost. Their family lost, their, their, their homes blown to pieces by Russian mortar shells. It's, it's just horrendous. And God has, God has put us in these places. But the thing that's challenging us most right now is Vatra Village. Vatra Village is a home, a, a, a village of six homes 
where we can house 90 more young people to save them from horrendous circumstances. In Moldova, when a young girl turns 16, she's given a couple of dollars and put out on the street, and she has nowhere to go. They give her a bus ticket to her home and her birth certificate, and there's no one there. And she stands in the bus depot and, or in a mall and just stands and, and looks around, and someone walks up or drives up and says, I'm looking for ba a babysitter for my daughter. And this girl with no idea gets in a car and within 24 hours is being, has been raped and beaten so badly that she will comply to anything that they tell her to do. And they use them 30 to 50 times a day. And we, have, we are right now in the middle of building and finishing a place called Vatra, V-A-T-R-A. It means hearth in Romanian. Vatra village, where we can take 90 more of these kids into our care, share the gospel with them, put them back in school. And what happens is we turn orphans into family, and then sons and daughters into missionaries. And I want you to watch this video right now of Vatra Village. And uh, we'll be back to share some more things. You'll be blessed by this. God bless. Hello, dear friends. My name is Ulizana, and I'm a part of the Orphan's Hands, the ministry which God used to change my life completely. I'm here now in Vatra Village, and this is one of the houses that is still in the process of being renovated. We finished already three houses, which look amazing. And I cannot wait to show you how we changed it. Actually, one of the girls from the Orphan's Hands, Nadia, she um, helped and actually she made all the design for these houses. And we are just so blessed. First, I want to show you how the houses initially looked. The renovation of these houses, it's a long process and it needed a lot of uh, financing. But with the help of God and with your help, we finished already three houses, which are so amazing. So let's go to see the finished houses. So here we are in one of the houses which are finished. So take a look, please. We had to insulate the house. We had to change all the electric wires. We had to paint all the walls. We had to install the floors. And also, we installed the heating system, as you can see. We changed the windows. We installed the doors. There are so many things that we changed in this house. But it was worth it. So on behalf of all the young girls and boys who live in these beautiful houses that you made possible, I just want to say a huge thank you for believing in us and for giving them another chance in life, which life never gave it to them. So thank you so much. And that is Vatra Village, a place where we can take more young people that are going to be thrown away on the garbage heap of life and have no hope. And by your care and your prayers and your giving, you're allowing us to go there and tell a, a young person in an orphanage, it's not over here. You're not done yet. God has a plan for your life. And our young people that we rescued eight and 10 and 11 and 12 years ago, many have moved on and have babies and our family members, you know, families all over the world. But we have a core of young men and women that stayed with us and said, Dad, they call me Dad and my wife, Chrissy Mom, and they said, we want to be a part of this moving forward. And our kids go into the orphanages and tell them about Vatra Village and about the homes that we have. And by doing so, we are throwing them a lifeline of hope. We are saying to them, it's not done yet. I come from the northeast corner of Scotland, in case you wonder where my accent comes from. And uh, we live on the, on the, uh, right on the coast and the fishing village, we were from a small fishing village. And we have a life, a life boat in the village that goes out into storms that you would not believe to try to rescue ships that are in trouble. And uh, whenever I see these kids and I, I watch them in their distress, 
an old hymn from Scotland comes to my mind. And um, I think it's very appropriate for what we're doing in Vatra Village. And this is how it goes. Throw out the lifeline across the dark wave. There is a brother who someone should see. Somebody's brother, oh, who then will dare to throw out the lifeline, his peril to share. Throw out the lifeline, throw out the lifeline. Someone is drifting away. Throw out the lifeline, throw out the lifeline. Someone is sinking today. Now listen to this. Soon will the season of rescue be o'er. Soon they will drift to eternity's shore. Haste then, my brother, no time for delay. Throw out the lifeline and save them today. Throw out the lifeline. Throw out the lifeline. Someone is drifting away. Throw out the lifeline, throw out the lifeline. Someone is sinking today. That last verse is, is so profound. My brother-in-law, John, he just was visiting with us from Scotland recently. His dad and his granddad were in the lifeboat before it had an engine. It was a rowing boat. And one night, the flares and the gun would go off. It would boom over our town and everyone would run to the lifeboat shed. And my brother-in-law's dad and granddad were on the lifeboat and they got into the boat and it was so stormy a night that they could hardly launch it into the waves. And they got out past the breakwaters, we've got up two piers, and the waves were so big that John's dad was crying with fear, weeping, saying, Dad, we're going to his father, we're going to die, we're going to die. And the grandfather kept saying to him, Don't you dare stop rowing. Don't you dare. And they rowed through the storm and found the vessel that was in trouble and save their lives. Soon will the season of rescue be o'er. Soon will they drift to eternity shore. Haste then, my brother, no time for delay. Throw out the lifeline and save them today. As sure as I'm sitting on this seat, a girl will sit on the, or stand on a street corner with nowhere to go and no hope. And the only chance she has of being rescued is the lifeline that we will throw her through this program. We are $140,000 away from paying for these houses. God has been faithful beyond our wildest dreams to watch the miracle of provision. But we have a deadline which is July the 1st. And we have to have it paid by then. And there are girls sitting in orphanages right now, coming up to the day when they're going to be put on the street with no hope, not a chance, no possibility, except being found by a traffic. And you and I can do something about it right now. Fadra Village is a lifeboat in a storm 
and I say this all the time, if I could take you there and let you meet the girls that you would save, if I could stand you behind at the back door of a car that's owned by the trafficker to take the girl away, and I could say, I can save this girl if you'll just help me. I know you would. If I could take you to Vatter Village and look at the houses and say, I can finish this place, buy it all for a thousand dollars. I know there are people watching me that can do that and do a lot more. God's talking to you today to throw out a lifeline for these girls. I'm asking you in the name of Jesus to contact me. The number is 833-DAILY-FAITH. You can call that number and you can give on your charge card. It is secure. You can write our PO box. All of those addresses will come back up at the end of the show. But I want you to pray with me right now and ask God to speak to your heart and other people's hearts to throw out a lifeline. Father, in Jesus' name, you know how close we are to coming to the deadline for these houses. And you know the need is so great in such a short space of time. And I pray, Lord Jesus, that you will speak to people watching this program, that you will talk to them in their inner heart and say, you are made to do this, to reach out beyond your world and to theirs, to change and help them. If it were Melody, if it were your daughter, if it were your granddaughter, wouldn't you want someone to beg for their lives? I'm asking you right now to go to your phone. 140 people giving $1,000 would allow me to save 90 young girls that have no hope. Do it right now. Do it right now. Go to your phone right now. 1-833-DAILY-FAITH. And just say, I'm watching Philip. I want to help with Vatra. I'm going to give this gift, whatever it is, whatever it is, however much it is, you can make a miracle happen. Melody, we are close. Um, as you're talking, I'm thinking of the incredible story of salvation and what Jesus did for us on a cross. What a lifeline. <laughs> the ultimate lifeline is Jesus Christ. But in, in this, we get a part of this incredible story. What an honor that we as broken, fallible humans get to be a part of that incredible story. Who, who am I? Who, who are we? Do we even get to be a, a hint of a part? of such an incredible, incredible love, an incredible story of salvation. We're, what an honor that we get to do this. When eternity, we are given them. When eternity ends, or, or time yeah. ends and eternity begins, and one of these little girls walk up to you and say, you don't know this. Yeah because of you. But you watched a program one day and gave and got me a bed. And I came and I found Jesus in this place and it turned me into a missionary. And you made that possible because you listened to the voice of God. Yes. You can make a miracle happen today. Lord Jesus, I pray. And I agree with Melody right now that hundreds of people, hundreds of people will be moved by the hand and the heart of God to say, I will be a part of this miracle. I will make Vatra Village a reality. Lord, I'm talking to someone that has enough money to pay the whole thing off just in one go. And let us use the rest of the money to start furnishing the place. Speak to that heart, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We love you so much. You are so important to us. Without your care and your giving and your loving, 
and you supporting the Cameron family. We couldn't do what we do. We couldn't tell you and show you the miracles that we have in, in, in encountered over our lives. But I know this, every seed sown, a miracle takes place. You say, well, Philip, I don't have $1,000 to give, but I sure would like to help. When we get these houses paid for, it's going to take 120 people giving a dollar a day to make, to pay the, to keep, to sponsor the house. 120 people giving one dollar a day will allow us to open one of the houses in Vatra. That pays for all the utilities and all the staff that's there and the schooling for these kids. These kids come to us and if they need, if their school needs paying, we pay for the school. Your dollar a day, less than the price of a can of Coke, could allow us to say to a young girl or boy, there's hope here. I know you'll do it. I'm looking forward to hearing from you this week. I believe that God's already spoken to your heart. And I'm believing God that today, something miraculous is gonna happen. For over 25 years, the Cameron family has been changing the lives of orphans in Romania and Moldova. From providing running water, flushing toilets, and clean wells to coal for heat, new windows, as well as food and clothing. They champion the physical needs of the orphans in these broken and desolate countries. Many of Moldova's orphans are saved from the horrors of trafficking through homes founded by the Camerons. And in the process, orphans become daughters and sons. They come to know their heavenly father and are forever changed by the love of Jesus. God helped the Camerons lift these amazing young men and women out of darkness. Now, no longer orphans, they want to return and invade that very same darkness with the light of Jesus Christ. The Orphan's Hands equips these daughters and sons to become missionaries. Your monthly gift of $31 will allow us to rescue and take in more girls and boys, saving them from the hell of human trafficking. Your monthly partnership will allow us to care for those in the Orphan's Hands homes in Moldova and the Ukraine. When you partner with us on a monthly basis, giving a dollar a day, you will receive every 30 seconds, a testimonial book of the lives changed by the Orphan's Hands. If you want to join Philip and Chrissy in taking care of these precious young people, please contact us today by calling 833-DAILY-FAITH. You can also give by going online to philipdcameron.com or by writing to Post Office Box 242246, Montgomery, Alabama, 36124. So many lives depend on what we do. Thank you for loving the lost. Philip would love to hear from you. If there is a need for prayer in your life and you want him to pray for your unsaved loved ones, reach out to Philip at 833-DAILY-FAITH. We believe for great things for you. Contact him today.